didn't feel like I was that person to go into the beauty industry. My complexion, I've been dealing with hair loss since my early 20s. But people would say stuff like, oh, at least you got good hair. You know, like, and that was like, because of the texture of my hair, like, you know, that's a little bit working for you, like kind of thing, <laughs> because, because your complexion, you know, is, is not what's up, you know, basically. Growing up in Houston, you know, I grew up in a, in the 90s in Houston and the music was all about being light skinned and being yellow bone and this and that. So I, me even being in the beauty industry is sorta, it was sorta like me, you know? But I wasn't in the beauty industry because of the way I look. That's not what got me here. What got me in the beauty industry was the way I made people feel. And that feeling fulfilling me. The way I made women feel fulfilled me. And that's how I got here. As a dark-skinned woman, I know how cherishable it is to feel beautiful. And when someone tells you that, when people see your features, when people see things about you, see your beauty, um, acknowledge it. I know how that feels. And, and the beauty industry, working at the makeup counter when I was in college, it gave me that feeling and that, that turned into something I wanted to continue to have. Um, so. So that's it for me. It's not so much if I thought I fit, it was just more fitting.